you've probably heard of Bitcoin, maybe Ethereum, maybe you've dabbled in a few coins, followed influencers, checked charts, and seen projects make big promises. But there's one project that almost no one talks about. And yet, it's quietly doing what others only claim. It's called Cubic. And once you understand what it is, it just might change how you see crypto altogether. Cubic isn't just another blockchain. In fact, it's not a blockchain at all. It's a decentralized global compute layer designed to run without an operating system, without the cloud, and without the limitations of traditional chains. It was built over more than a decade by Sergey Ivancheglo, better known as CFB, the same person behind NXT and IOTA, two of the most innovative projects in crypto history. But unlike most projects, Kubik wasn't launched with fanfare or a million dollar token sale, it was built in silence. And it works. Kubik runs on what's called bare metal, that means there's no middle layer, no Linux, no virtual machine, no cloud provider, just pure, raw hardware running code directly. That alone makes it unlike anything else in the crypto space. It doesn't use traditional consensus like proof of work or proof of stake either. Instead, Cubic uses its own quorum-based consensus, where a fixed set of nodes, called computers, work together to keep the network in sync. There are 676 computers running bare metal nodes around the world, all coordinated without any central server, without cloud hosting, and without anyone paying AWS for uptime. Now, the most misunderstood part of Cubic is probably its tokenomics. People see 1 trillion tokens emitted per week and assume it's inflation gone wild, but that's only the surface. Cubic has a hard cap of 200 trillion tokens. Currently, about 146 trillion are in circulation, and that number will never exceed 200 trillion. In fact, thanks to its built-in burn mechanism, it won't even reach that. As of today, over 17 trillion cubic has already been burned, permanently removed from supply. So the real effective cap is now 183 trillion and dropping. That's deflation in action, already happening. And cubic doesn't just emit endlessly, it has a halving schedule, just like Bitcoin, but faster. Every 52 epochs, or roughly once per year, the emission rate cuts in half. So after year one, it drops to 500 billion per week, then 250, then 125, slowing naturally until emissions stop completely. Now here's the part people really miss. Cubic is not divisible. One cubic is one full unit, you can't split it. Compare that to Bitcoin. It may have just 21 million coins, but it's divisible into 100 million satoshis per coin, meaning 2.1 quadrillion usable units. Cubic? Just 200 trillion full units minus whatever gets burned. So in terms of true, usable scarcity, it's actually more scarce per unit than Bitcoin. And all of that is backed by a design that burns tokens using real income. Today from Monero mining, and soon from compute sales and smart contract execution, this isn't theoretical, it's already happening. Here's where Cubic does something radical. Instead of having miners waste energy solving meaningless puzzles, like Bitcoin or other proof-of-work consensus, Cubic applies its compute power to useful tasks. Right now, it mines Monero one of the most privacy-focused cryptocurrencies out there. That income is then used to burn Kubik tokens, removing them permanently from circulation. In the future, Kubik's compute power will be sold to run real workloads, AI models, automation processes, and more. That's what makes Kubik one of the only examples of useful proof of work, a system where energy is spent doing something valuable. But Kubik doesn't stop at compute and mining. Its long-term vision is far more ambitious. The goal is to train AI models using the Kubik Network's global compute layer, and ultimately, create a decentralized artificial general intelligence called AI Guard. This isn't marketing fluff. The groundwork is already being laid. And it's being done by a team that doesn't talk about doing things. They just build. Every seven days, Kubik enters a new epoch. That's a new development cycle. New code, new improvements, more progress, week after week, without fail. This kind of consistency is nearly unheard of in crypto, where projects often disappear for months between updates. Cubic doesn't miss a beat, it just quietly evolves. No hyped announcements, no shill campaigns, no fluff. Just execution. So why don't more people talk about Cubic? Because it doesn't fit the usual narrative. People who talk about fart coins aren't paid by Cubic to talk about it. It's not trying to pump your bags. It's not chasing trends. It's simply building something the space has never seen before, a global compute layer, a working burn mechanism, a vision for decentralized AI, and a network that's already running. You're not early to a meme, you're early to something real.